Hi guys, welcome back. Count the number of words in a text file. So this is one of the imp important interview questions. This is what we are going to discuss today. So, so I have created one simple sample file over here. In this file, which contains certain number of lines. Our objective is to determine the word count. To achieve this, we will be by splitting the word using a delimiter. So the delimiter in this case will be the space. See, space is a delimiter over here. Though in your specific file, it might be space or it might be comma or hyphen or underscore or pipeline, depending on your file structure, right? As per this file, I'm using a space as a delimiter over here. So now I have uh, uh, stored, you know, this is my location where I have saved the text file, right? So this is what the location I'm going to use. Now, uh, let's go over right here. Let us start write the code. To read the text file, we must instantiate both the file reader class and the buffer reader class. So first, I will be creating an object of the file reader class first. So for that, we can use a file reader can give any variable name equal to new file reader. So here we need to, okay, you can import your packages. This is coming from Java IO. And so here it will be asking as a path of your file. So already I have stored the file. So I can say file reader. Uh, so always whenever you are using a path, right? So you need to make sure that it should be the double slash because single slash means it will be the escape symbol in Java. So you have to use the double space over here. Sample dot text file I'm using. So now you can add cross declaration. So the file reader is a class in Java used to read a characters in the file. So next what we are going to do, we have to create an object for the buffer reader class. So buffer reader class, we can say buffer reader can give any variable name equal to new buffer reader. Right here we need to pass the file. So file already we have stored, right? So you can pass this variable over here. So this is the way we need to pass. So buffer reader also you have to import the packages coming from a Java I. So now we have instantiated the file reader and buffer reader. So buffer reader is a wrapping the file reader object. This is done efficiently read the content of the file line by line. So buffer reader is a often used for reading a text from character files, right? So now declare a variable over here. So I'm just creating a variable string. You can say uh, any variable name. So I'm just creating a variable. Why we are creating this string variable, which is used to store each line of the text, you know, read from the left file, right? So I'm going to use a for loop, uh, while loop over here. So in while loop, I can say which is the condition. Suppose I'm saying line equal to, so we have to read the line. So for that, we can use this variable name, br dot. We have a method called read line is there. So in this read line method it is going to read the line. So now in the loop, we have to make it as a condition, right? So condition, it will be that not equal to none. So till that it has to iterate. See, this loop will continue to execute as long as there are more lines to read in the file. So now why it's an error over here? Add cross notification. Now inside the loop, the line should be, you know, separated by the spaces, right? Why? Because we want to count the word from the file. So each line of the text file is split into an array of words. So for that, we can say this line because this line, you know, all the line is reading and it's stored in a, this variable. So now I need to split that, uh, you know, as per the delimiter. So I can say line dot, we can call the split method. Here we need to pass the delimiter. In our case, in our file, space is a delimiter. So as per your file, you can make it as, maybe it will be comma, maybe it is a pipeline, maybe it is a hyphen, whatever it is, you can add over there. So now I'm just using a space as a delimiter. So it's going to split as a, wherever the space is there, it is going to split. So we'll getting a words. Now this is going to split and it is, what it is going to return, it's going to return us string of words. So you can say string words equal to you can store. Right? This means that words in the line are separated by the spaces. 
after splitting the word, we need to count. Right? For that, I can initialize one more variable over here. Int count equal to 0. Initially, it will be 0. Now, it will be used to keep track of the total number of words in the file. So, here what we have to do, we need to say count equal to count plus words length. Because in the first line, it will be how many uh, words are coming. It will go into split over here. So, now I am saying words. I will be adding a word. Words dot. You can call a method length. So, now this length will go into return you the how many lengths are there? I mean, how many words are there in the particular line? So, each line we are going to read and it is going to split and it's going to store over here. We are getting a length and is adding into the count variable. Right? So, the length of a words, you know, array is added to the count variable. So, this effectively count the number of words on the current line and add it to the total. So, after that loop, what we have to do? We need to print the total word count, right? So, for that, we can say, we'll print that. So, number of words present in the given file, we can pass the count, right? Finally, we have to close that file reader, right? So we can say br dot close. So before run this, make sure to close the file, right? So what we have done, we have opened the file. Just we need to close the file, save the file and close it. Now try to run this. So now if I run this, the number of words present in the given file is a sixty. Right, it read the text file line by line, split each line into the word and count the total number of words in the entire file. So the word count is displayed in the output right currently. Right, this is what you are expected output. Hope this is clear, clear. If you have any more interview questions you would like to assistance with, kindly mention them in the comment section.